The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, you, Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your Father. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This gospel took place on Easter Sunday. Can you imagine if you were Mary Magdalene, the first witness to the resurrection? All the appearances have a threefold purpose. They recognize him, they recognize him with difficulty, and he always sends them on a mission. And of course, we know from Mary Magdalene, from tradition, from history, that Mary Magdalene did what Jesus asked her to do, and she became a great apostle, a great evangelist in France for the good news of Jesus Christ. And she's reverent, revered in France today because she brought the faith to France. And, uh, and she, she um, recognized Jesus as our Lord, said, where, where, where is my Lord? Where have you put him? Uh, you know, often Mary Magdalene gets a bad rap, but Jesus had driven out seven demons from her. But sometimes people get her mixed up with the woman caught in adultery. That's not the case. But Mary Magdalene was a devoted follower of Jesus Christ. And imagine, of all people on the earth, you had Peter, you had John, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, any of them could have been the first witness. But Mary Magdalene was the one that was selected. What an honor for her to be the first witness of the resurrection. And she, uh, he said to her, go and tell the people, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. And I think the message of it is that today, when we look for Jesus, we don't see him in physical form, like, see, like the apostles saw him in the flesh, but we see him in his glorified way. And he designated especially his presence. And we talk in the church about the presences of God. All of creation is a manifestation of the glory of God. Jesus Christ is present in his word. When we read the Bible, his word speaks to us. We recognize him as the apostle did in the breaking of bread. This is the designated presence of Jesus Christ until he comes again in glory. And also at every mass, the priest presides in persona Christi, in the person of Christ. And Jesus is also present in you, the people. The Bible tells us, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So there's lots of ways Jesus is present to us today if we have the eyes of faith to recognize him. Let us pray. Thank you.